Florida Governor Rick Scott faces criticism this morning for his handling of information about Zika. Now, two areas in Miami-Dade County are designated Zika zones where the virus is spreading, and there are 37 transmitted cases by local mosquitoes. The governor visited one of those areas yesterday while kids returned to school. David Begno is in Miami Beach as concerns about Zika spread far beyond the warning zones. David, good morning. Good morning. With the Zika threat, you've got pregnant women in Florida considering relocating, going somewhere else, some who've already decided to do so. You've got businesses like those here in South Beach who are worried about what the threat is going to do to them. This is one of the biggest tourist hotspots in the world, but by far the biggest headline over the last 24 hours has been the sizzling political feud between the mayor of Miami Beach and Florida's governor. What the governor did is he not only blindsided me, he blindsided our administration. For the third day in a row, Miami Beach Mayor Philip Levine took aim at Florida Governor Rick Scott for failing to tell city leaders about Zika cases on Miami Beach before he notified the public. I think it would be more useful in the future to let the elected leaders, let the administrations know what's going on so we can take the necessary steps. Governor Scott fired back. I reached out to Mayor Levine and he unfortunately didn't return my phone call. One mosquito lobby there. Two tourist areas in Miami-Dade County, the Wynwood neighborhood and South Beach are home to at least 37 locally transmitted Zika cases. <laughs> Katrina Bernard's third child is due in December. This isn't, you know, a cold, it's life or death. Although Bernard lives outside the Zika zones, she's scared to leave her Miami-Dade County home. What has instilled that fear in you? Seeing all of these poor babies with microcephaly and seeing women having to make the choice to either not continue their pregnancy or to just be dealt a really hard hand. There are 69 pregnant women in the state of Florida who have been infected with Zika. The disease has been linked to babies born with microcephaly and can impact the size of a child's head, potentially causing seizures, developmental delays, and additional mental and physical problems. You can put a box on a map, but you can't keep the mosquitoes in that box. Christina Frigo is also from the Miami area, but earlier this month, she relocated to Chicago, and she plans to stay there for the remainder of her pregnancy. You just inconvenience yourself so that your baby is safe. We are reaching the peak of hurricane season, and should we get a storm here, standing water after that storm will pose a real problem when it comes to mosquitoes breeding and transmitting the Zika virus. Nora, here on South Beach, they will fine you for standing water, even a little bit of it, because remember, those mosquitoes can breed in something like this, a bottle cap that small. Wow, David, thank you so much.